Hi, Mark Anthony here to show you a basic banana bread concept. And once you learn how to make banana breads, you'll make these all the time. They are so easy, it doesn't take a real brain surgeon to figure them out. And uh, what I'm starting out with here though, is I've got a little bit of hot water and I'm gonna add a quarter cup of ground flaxseed to about a half a cup of hot water. And we're just gonna give that a little stir and then we're gonna let that rest a little bit. That is actually going to be uh, my egg substitute. A little ground flaxseed and water is a great egg substitute, binding agent, that type of thing. Uh, the other thing we're gonna work on next here is my dry ingredients, which is gonna be right here, I've got two and a half cups of flour. Now, just to let you know, this is white flour, but I don't want people thinking that white flour is bad for them. This is whole wheat flour that is unbleached. That's the thing you wanna look for is unbleached flour. Uh, there's white flour, there's hard red winter wheat. There's so many different types of wheat. White wheat is white. So you want the unbleached is the big point that you're looking for when it comes to flours, unbleached. Uh, and we'll add some salt. We'll just hit it with about a teaspoon of salt and my baking powder. Now look at the, I'm doing one tablespoon. I'm just gonna do a nice heaping tablespoon of baking powder. And uh, look at this though. And this is the way I buy my baking powder. Let me tell you, it doesn't cost that much. And you buy those little things in the grocery store, it'll take 10 of them to fill up this container. And so you're saving a ton of money and this will last a year you know, or longer without going bad. So in fact, the expiration date is 2016 in August. So it's got a couple of years actually. And uh, so it saves you a ton of money and always look for the uh, aluminum free, which is what I have here, aluminum free uh, baking powder. So that'll work there. And we'll just give this a little spin here. You always mix your dry ingredients in one container and then do your wet ingredients in another. And that is uh, the best way to um, make sure that all the uh, powders are getting incorporated and not going to one little section of it. So there's the flour right there. We'll set that aside and we'll start working on these bananas. And you can actually blend them up like this if you wanna. But this is the best thing to do with those uh, bananas. When they get a little overripe, you make banana bread. Or you peel them, throw them in the freezer, and you make smoothies with them. So, but we're doing banana bread today. And of course, you can mash these up in a lot of different ways. And I just like to give them a quick mash here before I add the other ingredients, because otherwise you're splash, 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 and you don't want to do that. So. Uh, you can take any wire whip, works the best for me, and uh, give this thing a nice little action like this. So not too bad, huh? Easy enough to do that. So now that you've got this all whipped up, and by the way, when you're whipping things, if you go around in circles, you're more just moving the food around, where if you go back and forth like this, when you go back and forth, you're actually busting it up a lot more than going in circles, because circles just moves it around the bowl. Back and forth kind of takes it from one end to the other. So another little concept that you learn right here only at Mark Anthony's Kitchen. And I'm gonna add some applesauce to this. Applesauce is my oil uh, substitute. You can add oil. Sometimes we'll do a quart of oil, or a, not a quart, but <laughs> a quarter cup of oil. And uh, uh, yeah, a quart of oil might be a little too much there. So, but anyway, I'm actually using applesauce as my uh, uh, moisturizer there. And I'm gonna use honey instead of sugar. You can use sugar, you can use brown sugar if you want, but uh, you know, honey is my choice for this one. And, uh, and I buy those in big quantities too, by the way, because it just works. It just saves you money. And anytime you can save money, and once your kitchen's organized, I mean, your cooking is so fast, you get things done so fast in the kitchen. And then I've got about uh, two thirds of a cup of um, uh, soy milk. And that's just a, um, I actually use vanilla. Actually today I used the vanilla almond milk and uh, cause that's what I had. You can use anything, you really can. 
And uh, so, boom, we've got it just like that. Now, look at this. You can already see how this uh, ground flaxseed and water has thickened up. And that is a thickening agent right there. That is a thickener, just like eggs, a binding agent. So we'll mix that in here real quick. So once all this is incorporated, then we can add the flour. So pretty easy. And you can come up with lots of different variations of flavors and things like that right here as well. Uh, but we're gonna add the flour right here and just keep it stirring. And this is where it gets a little tricky so you don't make a mess everywhere. And, uh, but if you do, that's fine too. It's not a big rocket science thing. Uh, uh, when you get this all uh, organized, it'll, it'll turn out really good for you. So I'm actually gonna get that out of here right now for a second, just so I can use my uh, rubber scraper here. Because I wanna be able to get those edges really good right now. Okay, just like that. Yeah, we go through a lot of bananas. We really do. In fact, during the holidays, we bake. And uh, that's our biggest issue is baking. And sometimes we'll have 50 or 100 <laughs> bananas in the uh, freezer. And uh, we bake banana breads for everybody for the holidays and things like that. So um, I'd much rather give somebody some food for the holidays, give them something baked, something that comes from the heart instead of the, you know, discount store. And uh, we're going to hit some uh, pans here. And I'm just going to give them a quick little spray so that uh, they'll pop out a little bit easier. And then we're going to fill these up. And it's only going to fill up about three-fourths full because these are going to rise half to three-fourths full, really. And uh, so just like that, we'll try it right there. So there's that one. And we'll see how many of these we fill up. I like doing the big one first. And uh, then we'll see how many of these we can fill up here. And it doesn't look like it's going to be a lot today. Um, a lot of times I can just eyeball this recipe. So I know exactly what to uh, put in there without measurements. Most of the time when you're baking is when you want to use the exact measurements. And um, because a lot of times it is a science when it comes to baking. Uh, so, but look at that, that easy. And uh, we'll be able to put these right in the oven. And uh, they're gonna cook at 350 degrees. The little ones only take about a half hour and the bigger one takes about an hour. And I will actually put a pan underneath. That way, if it does go over, uh, at least it's not going to mess up your oven. It's just going to mess up the pan. So we'll get these in the oven and we'll come back in about an hour and show you exactly what they look like. All right, we're back and uh, we're going to pull this one right out of the oven here because I know it's already ready and it's hot. But um, I'll show you just what it looks like here. And doesn't that look great? Took almost an hour, about 50, 55 minutes for this one. My smaller ones did take a half hour. And you'll see how I got them wrapped. After it was out and cooled for about 20 minutes, I put a wrap on it. And what that does is it helps keep the top softer. And I'll see if I can pop one out. There we go, that easy for you. And just like that, you have a hot, woo, homemade fresh banana bread. And I'll tell you what, you cannot find a better banana bread anywhere. And of course, you can put some nuts and things like that in it. But I'll tell you what, I'm just sharing with you the basics. And uh, you will love this. Uh, you can throw them in the freezer, throw them in the refrigerator. Um, usually just setting out on the counter, they'll last for a few days as well. Of course, not around my house. Uh, you know, you take it around my house and they'll disappear really fast. So that easy there's your basic banana bread and uh, of course we've got other recipes for more detailed creative types of things to do but i just wanted you to get the basics so mark anthony and we'll see you next time in the kitchen